Hi everyone, this is Art with Monica. Today we are going to make a Pablo Picasso magazine collage. And so we've done a few videos with collages in them. And so if you're not familiar with the collage, it's getting lots of different things, papers, materials, cloth, and putting them all together on paper or even on a piece of wood uh, with some glue. And so today you are going to need a blank piece of paper, a scissor, glue or tape. And if you watch my videos, you see that I use a tape runner, which I really love. All you gotta do is just run it along the paper and it takes it down. And some magazines, okay? Any kind of magazine, they could be circulars from your supermarket even, um, Costco, things like that. You want to make sure your magazines have pictures of people, okay? So it can't be a Lego catalog because we need faces. And so we are making a magazine collage of Pablo Picasso's famous artworks that were portraits, which were pictures of people. And so first I want to talk a little bit about Pablo Picasso. He is a Spanish painter, sculptor, printmaker, ceramist, and theater designer. He did all of those things. I'm going to go back. He painted. He sculpted out of clay. He made print various different shapes and things on various different materials. He was a ceramist, which means you make ceramics, I believe, plates and cups and things like that, and theater designer. So that would be the various things that you need when you put on a theatrical production. And so that's something that I did not know he did all of those things. He was born in 1881 and he died in 1973. Okay, now today we are making our own magazine portrait. And I want to show you a version, this one's mine, but I want to show you a version of Picasso's. So I'm going to come up really close with my phone. Hopefully it will out. Oh, let's see. All right, there we go. And so that's Pablo Picasso. And there are some of his portraits. Okay. Pablo Picasso and some of his portraits. Okay. My portrait has a layer to it that you can't quite see. I put hands on the bottom of my portrait and then I fold them up and hide her face. And so I'm also going to bring this portrait kind of close so you can see all the different things that I put on there. And so Pablo Picasso's portraits are always abstract which means they're just not perfect. They're not what you would think they should be. And you are gonna make your version of a Pablo Picasso collage today. All right, now we'll start with our blank piece of paper. Put these things aside here. And I will put mine aside as well. You've seen it, now you're going to make a version of your own. Okay, so we are going to take our magazines and find pictures inside that would be parts of a face. Okay. And so you're looking for eyes and ears and nose and mouths and eyelids and lashes and everything that would be on your face. So you're going to go through the magazine and eat right there on the cover. There's a face. Cut that out. You can just take the whole page off. 
you watch my collaging videos, we talk a lot about just keeping, ripping the page out and then saving the rest of the pages. This side, this side here, that's a good one. This side, her face is kind of small. So you might not be able to see her full face when you make your collage, but that's the size that you're looking for here on this side. Okay, and so I have already cut out some pages when I made my first version for you to see, okay? And so I have an eye, cut out the eye there. I think I cut out, oh, on this side, I cut out her nose. This one I use the eye. This one I didn't use yet, but I thought it was a good picture for us to use today. And can you tell me what I cut out on this one? Her mouth. Okay. And so that is what helped me create my version of Picasso's portrait. And today we're going to create our version. And so underneath, I'm not sure if you can see, but underneath I drew a little bit of a face to help guide me. Okay. And a lot of Picasso's portraits have this frame in the middle and then he puts all the pieces of the face on the out inside of that frame. Okay. And so here it is. I forgot one other item that we're going to need for this activity. And that item is a pencil colored or regular or a marker. All right, and so on your blank piece of paper, you're really just going to make a oval, just kind of like an egg, but you're thinking about it as your face. All right, and so there is your frame for your face. Okay, and so we're going to make it a little abstract, which means not norm, not a regular face. I'm going to split down the middle, make a little nose, put a little mouth here, and a chin. I'm going to give some curls on top, and I'll make a little neck. And so you're going to do something like that. You're going to take your circle and you're going to split it in half. And I split it in half by making a line. That part is the nose for me. This part was the mouth. And this part was the chin if you were looking sideways. Right? And so you can do any line you want. It could even be a straight line all the way down. It is okay, because you're just going to make two different faces. And so I made long hair here, and I made bangs up here. I'll add an ear, which actually on mine, I think I added ears underneath. Is there an ear there? No, there might be an ear here, but then I covered it up. So you might end up covering your parts that you drew in. So don't draw too much, okay? So really all you need is your circle and a split down the middle. Okay, now let's put this guy away and let's get to making our own collage. All right, I'm going to take my scissors. I have a safety cap on my scissors, which is really great. Okay, now I like these eyes. Pretty cool. You see, I used the mouth. Oh, oh, look what I found on the other side. I think I might use half of that. See, I have to decide because this is a good, both of them have a good side. So I'm going to cut one side of the glasses. And then I'll cut the other side 
as the eye. There's even a really good ear here that if you wanted to use an ear, all right, so I cut my eye out, put that there. I'll show you once we glue it. And this paper, I would say, is maybe done. Remember, we're recycling. So if I wanted to make an activity with letters, which actually I did use this M in my portrait because Monica M, and I put an M on my portrait. Let's say your name is Ashley or you're here or Brett. You can use those letters and put them in your collage as well if you wanted to. So this could still be something that you use. Okay. I'm going to look through my papers now. I already have both my eyes. Now, guess what? Since it's abstract, you can even add more eyes if you want. If you noticed on mine, I had three or four lips, I think. All right. I'm going to look for, oh, I love putting hair on my person. So this piece of paper here has some long hair. So I'm going to cut around the hair. And this is where you can decide to have it hanging off your paper if you want. It could be something that you might want to fold and then have a peekaboo like I did with my hand, right? And so here I have some hair. And I'm not gluing, if you notice. I'm just kind of cutting things out. And you see if I add this hair here, the hair that I drew is not going to show. So. You don't have to draw too much. Your frame is just to help you see where you're going to place your things. I'm going to cut out my glasses. And these glasses are super cool because in the reflection, you can see a beach and some palm trees and some clouds. How cool that is. All right. So that's going to be sunglass eye, a regular eye. Let's see what other parts of the face that we will use. All right, let's look at our other papers here. Ooh, here's a nice nose or mouth or third eye if you wanted to do another eye. I'm going to cut her mouth out. That actually seems like a perfect. Actually, I'm going to cut her mouth and nose together and then add it to my collage. Now you're going to do this and you are going to cut out as many parts of the face as you would like. Again, as many parts of the face as you would like. It is abstract. It is your artwork. You can do whatever you want. All right, I'm done with my scissor. I'm going to put my safety cap back on. I'm going to put it on the side. Since my workspace is small, I don't want you to have all the things in your way. I'm going to finish with my magazine papers on the side for now, okay? And we're working with just the things that we have here. I have my tape out. I've decided where I want to put my pieces. You're going to either glue stick or tape your pieces. And you can be so creative with this. It's really a lot of fun. I enjoy doing the first one that I made for you. I'm going to quickly tape these. You're going to make sure they're nice and secure when you do yours. Um, but I'm just doing a quick thing to show you what you can make. I think I'm going to leave that one right where it was. Put some tape there. Make this a little abstract. Put it right here. Okay. So this is a basic version. But here I made another Picasso magazine collage. And so when you have more time, you can add more pieces, add more things, glasses, teeth, tongue, nose, eyes, lips, cheeks foreheads, whatever you'd like, and make sure you put your name on it. So I'm going to put it up here on some space here, Monica, and I'm even going to put Picasso.
portrait. All right, there is my Picasso portrait that you can make out of magazines. All right, friends, thank you so much. I will see you next time with Art with Monica. Bye-bye now.